it's time for your Sports Faith Game of the Week. Going in from man to man, here's Luke Prawl. He's going to line up a straight on three, and he splashed it. An 8 0 run. Sherwood catch, fire left wing, and he drills the triple. Then pulled it back, and now Prawl has it left wing. Reitman steps into a top of the key jumper, and nothing but nylon. The hip is good motion here. Sherwood just catch, fires, and fills it up from the right corner by Quimby. And now here's a pass intercepted. It's Haynes again. He stepped in front of Sherwood. He's going to go right at Sherwood. Oh, and Alex stopped him. Alex Sherwood, a big time block, throw ahead. Haley lead feed, layup right hand, spinner good. Now it's time to send it over to your host and play by play announcer, Craig Bone. And good evening from Torchy Clark Gym on the campus of Xavier High School here in Appleton. It's time for Hawks basketball on Sports Faith YouTube. Craig Mullen along with you on a Monday night as the Velders Vikings pay a visit to the Xavier Hawks. Both teams come out onto the floor. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving and thanks again for joining us for some high school hoops here on a very chilly evening outside as we get near the end of the month of November. Let the Christmas holidays begin as the Xavier Hawks got off to a tremendous start the other night as they took apart Kettle Moraine Lutheran. 84-44 was the final score as the Hawks shot it about as good as a team can shoot it. 30 of 57 from the field, 17 of 30 from beyond the arc. Out-rebounded the Chargers 40 to 21, and they held Kettle Murray and Lutheran to 14 of 40 shooting from the field. 14 steals and 19 total turnovers in the game for Kettle Moraine Lutheran. So a dominant performance as the Hawks came out flying on both ends of the basketball court. And for the Velders Vikings, they start the season off with a tough loss against a very good Plymouth Panther team. And now you come into Xavier and not an easy task indeed as Velders likes to play a very difficult Non-conference schedule gets them set for the regular season. They did make it to the sectional semifinals a year ago. Trevor Schwer in his 11th season, 171 wins, 87 losses. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the history between these two ball clubs as they have met in some very big spots over the years. You go back to 2016 as Xavier beat Valder 63-57 to get to the state tournament and win a state championship. And then the following year, a heartbreaking 59-57 loss at Appleton East High School. And Valders went on to state and lose on a buzzer beater against Prescott, one of the more heartbreaking losses you will ever see in high school sports, let alone in the sport of basketball. But this should be a very Interesting ball game. Velders comes in with a very young team. And as I mentioned, they struggled against Plymouth, only 31% from the field. And they shot it very poorly from deep. Four for 22, 18% on the evening as they lose by 30 to the Plymouth Panthers. Want to shout out to our sponsors this evening. As you're listening to the North Star Dental Group pregame show, locations in Appleton and in Sheboygan by OSMS, Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Specialists of Green Bay and the Fox Cities, by Let Me Be Frank Productions, by Georgia's Steakhouse, also by Cheryl Quimby Real Estate, Keller Williams Group of the Fox Cities, by Cardin Coin Corner, Packer City Antiques of Green Bay, by Pfefferly Management, and by NAI Pfefferly, by Kingpin Pizza, by Ash Wabanon Bowling Lanes, Mr. Reinebo's Cookies, PRN Home Health and Therapy, Forefront Dermatology, and Gallagher's Pizza. We're going to step aside. We're going to take a timeout. And we're going to hear from head coach Matt Clarner. Got a chance to talk with him. 
But first, let's hear from one of our sponsors, our pregame show sponsor. It is North Star Dental Group. Back with more of the North Star Dental Group pregame show right after this as we get set for the Hawks and the Velvers Vikings right here on Sports Faith YouTube. The road to state is a big deal that takes teamwork and excellence on and off the court. Let Dr. Pete and the team at North Star Dental get and preserve your smile in a state of excellence without stress. Hi, I'm Dr. Pete Haley from North Star Dental Group in Appleton and Sheboygan, and it's a big deal to have a healthy smile and protect it too. That's why we offer a complimentary evaluation of your athlete's dental needs and even mouth guards that match your school colors. North Star Dental, changing your life and protecting your smile. The North Star Dental Group pregame show continues. It's Valders and Xavier tonight in game number two for the Hawks as they take on the Vikings of Valders. And Coach Klarner joins us. And wow, basketball is a simple game. They say when it's going in the basket, especially when it goes in the basket, 30 of 57 attempts and 17 of 30 from beyond the three-point arc, that's a pretty good recipe for victory yeah, I would say so. I mean, obviously that that makes you look like a pretty good coach when the ball goes to the hoop. You know, I think that's that's just part of the game. Some nights you're going to have that where the the ball is going in. You're going to have some nights when it doesn't. And ultimately, kind of our message to the guys over the weekend was, you know, what happens when that doesn't happen? You know, what happens when we we shoot you know 20 percent instead of 50 percent? You know, are we still going to have a chance to win some of those games? Still be competitive in those games? And so that's kind of our you know our focus is just continuing to work on. Uh, moving the ball offensively and getting the shots that we want, continuing to work on defensively to to improve. And and um, I thought our first night out defensively was was probably a little stronger than maybe I anticipated. But you know, there's still plenty of holes in our defense that we want to we want to shore up, and plenty of things we saw in the film that we can get better at. You look at these numbers, pretty impressive to say the least. A couple of seniors, Hayden Quimby and Tyler Brightman, both six for eleven from the field in the ball game, and they led the way with 16 points each. And then another 12 out of our freshmen. You've been talking a lot about Logan Ramchek played himself a very nice game in his first varsity minutes. Uh, you just mentioned the defense. I was going to ask you, any surprises on opening night? Obviously, the shooting might have been a little bit of a surprise, but you just mentioned defense. But anything else that maybe uh, was surprising either negatively or positively uh, during the ballgame? Well, I think, uh, you know, offensively, it's easy to say, you know, early season, you probably aren't going to shoot the ball quite that well, but we also look back at the film at the shots we got and we felt really good about them. They were wide open looks, they were clean looks. And, you know, we have a lot of confidence in our guys to shoot the ball. And so we're not super surprised when our guys get an open shot and make it. So that's, that's, you know, I guess that's, that's not necessarily a surprise, but I felt good about the looks that we got for sure. And, um, you know, again, we saw some possessions where we didn't get a shot that we wanted and, and we didn't like the, the action that we had. So there's always a little bit of both. And on the defensive end, uh, you know, that KML team has some kids that can score. They got two kids who really, really can score it. And they have uh, other kids who can shoot and score the ball. So I feel like we were pretty good defensively. I mean, I think late in the game, they were still stuck in the 30s. Uh, until the very, very end, last couple minutes of the game. So I felt like uh, the defensive effort was strong, and hopefully that's something we can bring back to the table every single night this year because ultimately shots go in, shots don't go in. The defense and the rebounding is what we've kind of hung our hats on over the last 12 years. Yeah, I thought it was interesting. You guys had an early 11-point lead. I believe it was 19-8. to KML got back in the game 22-21, and then you went on the monster run 20-4, to and I believe it was 10 uh to close out the first half. And it seemed like you guys really got your legs underneath you defensively. 19 turnovers, by the way, you caused. Uh, the Hawks' defense was, was really spot on in that basketball game, but I thought that last run before the half, and, and maybe talk about that run and then talk about your message at halftime. What did you tell the kids at half after that explosion of 20-4? to to go into the locker room with a nice 17 point lead. Yeah. Well, I think what happened was, you know, we kind of, we kind of got them out of that zone. They, they it started the game in the zone and we made some good plays against it. And, and to be totally fair, hadn't spent a ton of time on zone offense. So we were, we were the first couple of possessions, probably not as sharp as we wanted to be, but the guys settled in nicely. And that's one of the nice things of having a senior group. We settled into our zone offense nicely we got them out of that zone and then we got them into man to man, which apparently they were not, you know, hoping to play or anticipating to play. And we were able to exploit that inside uh, and on the offensive glass, I thought as well. So the run was kind of, you know, stemmed by number one, getting them out of the zone. And number two, I think we got some buckets on the offensive glass, um, you know, halftime, uh, you know, the message is, is always, you know, 
what we're always preaching. We, we know what we want to do. We don't change our philosophies. We don't change our concepts. We don't change what we're doing. We just want to do it a little bit better. So we just talked about some of the things, you know, that, that caused us trouble, things where we had a, a poor position on the offensive end or some breakdowns we had on the defensive end. Just, you know, early in the season, ultimately, it's not even really about winning and losing. It's really just about getting better and, and, be, and you know, just kind of testing yourself and saying, where are we at offensively? Where are we at defensively? And then, and then trying to improve and Hopefully, we'll show some improvements tonight. So now you get a Velders team. This is another young basketball team. They lost their top two scorers. Cole Holvey and Jackson Olson have graduated. And this is a team that you have some history against. You go back. It's pretty interesting. You beat them in the sectional final back in 2017 on the way to your state championship game. And then they got you back in 18 in a heartbreaking loss, 59-57. And you've played Velders the last three years. Uh, where you've had quite a bit of luck against them in some blowout victories. They're coming off a 30-point loss against Plymouth, 88-58. But talk about Trevor Schwer. He's already in his 11th season. So you guys have had some battles, and, and two of those, obviously, in the postseason. Yeah, I had some had some great battles against the Elders. They, they always play really physical. They always play tough basketball. And, you know, they, they are probably known for having, like, senior-dominant teams and really strong physical athletic teams. That's kind of what I – I you know always think about with them, and you're right. You know they had they are a little bit younger this year. They had two kids who played four years of varsity ball graduate last year, and they had a really really strong team last year. Those kids graduated, and so obviously they're you know dipping into some of their sophomores and juniors to find the next group. And I, and I'm sure that as the season gets going here each day, those kids are getting more comfortable and improving. You know, having seniors and having experience definitely can pay off for you, especially early in the year. But uh, as the season goes on, you know, those those young kids, hopefully uh, for every team in this, across the state, are gaining experience and improving. You know, we've seen that with our teams in the past, how how well we finish seasons. And I'm sure that, you know, even though Valders has like, some young guys there, they're obviously looking to get better tonight and just continue to improve on their end as well. Yeah, it should be a fun evening indeed as we continue on through the preseason. We'll have Preble up next on Friday night, but uh, let's take care of business tonight against the Valders Vikings. Thanks again, Coach, for your time. Appreciate it. Thanks, Greg. All right, Matt Clerner, head coach of the Xavier Hawks, back with the starting lineups and the tip this evening on Sports Faith YouTube. It's Valders taking on Xavier at Torchy Clark Gym as you're watching Hawks basketball on Sports Faith YouTube. Hi, I'm Dr. Pete Haley from North Star Dental Group in Appleton and Sheboygan, and it's a big deal to have a healthy smile and to protect it too. We offer a complimentary evaluation of your child's athletic needs and even provide mouth guards. North Star Dental Group, changing your life and protecting your smile. And welcome back to Torchy Clark Gym. Our North Star Dental Group pregame show continues as you see the Hawks warming up on their home court to our left. And we talked about the domination over the last 13 years, 12 years actually, as Coach Clarner in his 13th year. 136 wins, only 18 losses on this floor. A very difficult place to play for the opponents as the Hawks looking for their second consecutive win, and then they head out onto the road, and we will have it for you Friday night. They will visit a Division I school out of the Fox River Classic Conference, the Green Bay Preble Hornets. We'll have that one for you at 7 p.m., and then they continue with Bay Conference action, or they start Bay Conference action as they travel to Seymour, the Hawks do on Tuesday, December 5th, and then a Friday matchup at Menasha, and then Tuesday, December 12th, at West appears. So really three very challenging road Bay Conference games to kick off this conference season of high school basketball in 2023 here for the Xavier Hawks. And for the Valders Vikings, they lose a couple of really good basketball players through graduation from a year ago. Cole Hovey. A first-team All-EWC Eastern Wisconsin Conference player, 18 points a game, 8.5 rebounds per contest. That was a 1,000-point score. And then you lose another 1,000-point score. Jackson Olson, 14.5 points a game, 8 rebounds, second-team All-EWC. So you lose a couple of four-year players. And you still bring back some pretty good talent, though. Will Siraki, we're going to see the 6-foot junior Tonight, he had 23 points the other night against Plymouth on eight of 16 shooting. And Trey Schneider, one of the other returning guards, a senior, six foot, 
He finished with nine points against Plymouth the other night, four of 11 from the field in his 29 minutes. And for the Xavier Hawks, it didn't matter who shot it the other night. It was absolutely amazing. 17 of 30 from downtown. It was Hayden Quimby and Tyler Brightman leading the way with 16 each. And believe it or not, they were both six for 11 from the field in the game. Sam Pfefferly adds 15 in the contest to go along with five rebounds and six assists, which he's right about at his average there. He averaged six and a half assists per ball game last year for the Hawks, a three-year varsity player, Sam Pfefferly. Luke Olhafen, pretty good start for the junior. He got the start, he'll get another start tonight. Seven points on two of five shooting against KML. And Luke Crow, he did the dirty work the other night. He might only scored three, but he had six rebounds, four assists. And he had four steals as well in 18 minutes of action. So he did a little bit of everything the other night for the Hawks as Xavier Trying to play another gem of a ball game as Matt Klarner giving final instructions here before we get to our starting lineups. If you haven't subscribed to Sports Faith YouTube, please click on that subscribe button and you'll get notified each and every time we go live with Hawks basketball. As Luke Kroll gonna read the sportsmanship pregame read. Our national anthem here from Torchy Clark Gymnasium as it'll be the Velders Vikings in their red. All red road with black trim. Trevor Schwer in his 11th season. He's assisted by Jerry Bodard and Lucas Pavanka. It'll be Trey Schneider coming out, the six-foot senior. And Will Seraki coming off that 23-point game, as I mentioned. And it'll be Lucas Spindler, five-foot-eight junior guard with a three-guard lineup. Not a lot of size. They graduated, like I said. Jackson Olson, one of their big players. Austin Fisher going to get the start. And then it's going to be Kyle Hobie. His brother Cole, of course, 18 points, eight and a half boards last year. First team all EWC. Trevor Schwer in his 11th year, 171 wins, 87 losses. Let's get down, let's get down. As now the lights are dimmed. 
as we get ready for the Xavier Hawks and their starting lineups as the Hawks will go with the same starting lineup as they did on opening night. Great highlight reel there on the digital scoreboard here at Torchy Clark Gymnasium. And it's going to be Sam Pfefferly, the six foot two senior, going to run the offense again tonight. Coming off a 15 point game, six assists, five rebounds. Joining him in the backcourt is Hayden Quimby. Coming off that 16 point game, and then it'll be a 6'3 senior, number 13, Luke Kroll. And at a forward position, it'll be the six foot five, Tyler Brightman. And rounding out the starting five, a six foot three junior, number 24, Luke Olhafen. Matt Carner in his 13th year, assisted by BJ Brown, Jeremy Davis, and Ross Visaki. Matt Carner, 254 wins, 61 losses. All time winning as coach here at Xavier. Hawks will be in their home white. The navy blue and the silver trim and the silver numerals on the back. And Tyler Brightman is going to jump it up. Everybody getting in position as Brightman will go up against Austin Fisher. They were facing the wrong way, but we got squared away. And a toss and tap is won by Xavier and the Hawks. We'll go on offense first. It'll be Sam Pfefferly, and they're going to see an early man-to-man. -man. They play, played against some zone the other night against Kettle Marine Luther, and they shot him out of that early on in the ballgame. And now Wolf Hafen's going to try to power his way up, and he does, and he got hit on the arm. Nice post up that time and a good feed by Brightman. 31's going to get called. That's Kyle Hovey with his first. As we're opening minute here, from Torchy Clark Gym, the Hawks coming off a resounding 40 point victory the other night against Kettle Marine Lutheran. And Luke Olhafen up and good with his first foul shot of the ball game. And Olhafen good looking, arcing high shot and it's up and good and the Hawks up to zip. And now Xavier gonna pick up with some full court pressure as Will Seraki, he's being chased and he's going to be doubled. So flips it across, it's Spindler. Now he's trapped in the backcourt. And here's a dangerous pass. And Luke Crawl almost had himself a steal. As the Hawks had 14 thieves the other night. Part of 19 turnovers in the game against Kettle Marine Lutheran. And now Seraki going to try to go on Crawl. A little step under and a nice little lean in banker. Finger roll is up and good by Seraki. And we're knotted at two. Good take by the junior, Will Seraki. Now Brightman being hounded by Trey Schneider. Velder's in a very aggressive man-to-man. -man. Here's Pfefferly, guarded by Seraki. Feeds Brightman, high arcing three from the left wing over Schneider's no good. And the rebound comes off to Lucas Spindler. Trey Schneider trying to back down on Quimby. Xavier, man-to-man -man, of course. Crawl guarding Seraki. Now it's Sam Pfefferly out on the perimeter against Lucas Spindler. Now Schneider trying to break loose from Quimby, and this is what we saw the other night. Xavier, some very good man-to-man -man defense in that game. They led by 17 the other night at the half, and we're going to have a moving screen, and I believe they're going to get Austin Fisher. No, they're not. They're going to get Will Seraki with the illegal screen. So a couple of early team fouls on the Vikings. Playing out of the Eastern Wisconsin Conference. Lost in a sectional semifinal a year ago. Quimby, see if he's feeling it yet, and he is. Hayden Quimby picking up where he left off the other night at 16. And he was four for eight from distance. 
And the Vikings able to break the pressure and Holby gonna pull the trigger. Left corner three, misses everything but glass. And the rebound to Brightman, feeds Pfefferly, struts into the lane, throw it up off balance in traffic. And no good, and Siraki comes down with a rebound as the Hawks lead 5-2 here early on in a non-conference battle from Torchy Clark. And that's gonna be a bump on Luke Kroll as he hip-checked Will Siraki to the ground. First foul of the game on Xavier. 15-51. Early on here from Xavier. We'll be back at it Friday night at Green Bay Preble. And then the Hawks will go on the road after that for three consecutive Bay Conference matchups. Siraki drive it, throw it to the wing, and now Austin Fisher trying to back down, and he lost control, but they said last touch by a Hawk. So the Vikings will inbound baseline right. Austin Fisher, the six foot junior, 0 for three the other night against Plymouth. Here's Siraki coming off a big game, 23 the other night. Trey Schneider has it, drive it, throw it in the corner. Good look, Fisher, air ball the three. Siraki comes up with the loose ball, tries to throw it off a Luke Kroll, but it ends up in the hands of Olhafen. Now Sam Pfefferly, Brightman. They'll move the perimeter. Quimby, parking lot three, left it short. Siraki with the rebound. Little heat check from Quimby from downtown. And now Siraki gonna run the point. Colby gonna come up with a high ball screen. Siraki's gonna go against that ball screen, still has it. Now Spindler, guarded by Pfefferly. Xavier's man-to-man -man on ball defense and hedging in mid-season form. Siraki long three and they're 0 for three from three as that one rims off and now here come the Hawks. Crawl looking, Quimby fumbled it. Now Pfefferly has it in the left corner against Siraki. Luke Kroll straight on, why not let it go? Halfway down and it rimmed in and out. Xavier off to a quieter start than they were the other night. They only missed 13 threes out of 30. Absolutely unconscious from downtown the other night. As we're stuck on 5-2 Xavier with just over 14 minutes remaining, first half. Schneider tries to step underneath Quimby, and he does, but he's not able to finish. Lead feed preferably to Brightman. He's doubled in the post. Tyler takes a dribble, and now Euro step through is good. Tyler Brightman splits a double team. Good looking footwork right there. 7 2. Brightman with his first points. And Siraki's going to get called for shuffling the feet as Valders turns the basketball over. And Mason Stodinger is into the ball game for Velders. Reed Hippus on for the Hawks. As Luke Olhafen will take a break. As will Austin Fisher for Velders. Seven to two. Hawks with the early lead. These three, these two teams, excuse me, have played the last three years. And Brightman to the rim with a left hand, and he shot it a little bit too hard. Xavier winning the last three regular season matchups, and now here's another long three by Spindler, no good. Fairfully throws it ahead to Brightman. Brightman fumbles, has to throw it behind his back, and it goes right to Luke Crow for the layup. Oh my goodness. Tyler Brightman with the no look, just throw it behind the back. I don't think he was intending it to end up in the hands of Luke Crawl, but it did. And the Hawks lead by seven. Here's a feed inside, nice pump fake by Holby, and he's stripped by Hippus from behind, and here come the Hawks. Sam Pfefferly, a right alley, throw it up, tried to bank it, no, too hard, and Holby with a rebound. Kyle Holby with a good looking move down below, but when you got that ball by your waist, that's when people come in and steal it. And now Siraki just double dribbled, exactly. He touched it with his second hand. And back-to-back -back turnovers on Will Siraki. Gunnar Ramawald into the ball game for 
Valders, Lucas Spindler will go out. Joe Gallucci and Isaiah Desjardins making their first appearance this evening. And we have an off ball whistle and we're gonna go moving screen the other way and it's gonna be Gallucci. Team foul number two on the Hawks. Nine to two Hawks with an early lead. Not quite six minutes gone by here from Torchy Clark tonight. Glad you could join us on Sports Faith YouTube. Here's Rommelwald gets hung up in the lane, has to kick it outside. It's Schneider, a couple of number ones going at each other here. Schneider going on Pfefferly. Now it's Saraki. A lot of ball screening going on. Xavier doing a good job hedging. And there's a good hard hedge by Hippis. Almost took it away from Saraki. Saraki spins into a double team. Give it to Rommelwald. He skips it in the corner and throws it away. And this is a young Velders team that is struggling right now on the offensive end. That is their third turnover unofficially early on in this basketball game. And they trail 9-2. Reed Hippis going to line up a left corner pocket three. And he knocked it home. Reed Hippis with a good looking stroke from deep. He scored a couple of points in 15 minutes the other night against Kettle Marine Lutheran and the Hawks extend to a 10 point lead, 12 to two on a very frigid Monday evening in Northeastern Wisconsin as Will Seraki wanted to pull the trigger but Luke Kroll was right there and he closed on him. Now it's Staudinger having trouble with it. Gives up his dribble. Now he has to try to find Hobie, and it's stolen by Hippus. Reed Hippus, one-on-one -on -one against Schneider, floated up. He got bumped and counted in one. Reed Hippus, back-to-back -back buckets. He took it right at Trey Schneider. And the Hawks off and running. Velders turning the ball over again. Their fourth turnover early on is Logan Ramchek, the freshman coming off his first game of his career. A 12-point offensive performance on four three-point buckets. Austin Fisher back into the game for Velders. Reed Hippus now trying to make this an early 13-point lead, trying to complete the three-point play, and he doesn't. Left it short, and Saraki comes down with a rebound for Velders. Just over seven minutes into the contest here on Sports Faith YouTube. Glad you could join us as Isaiah Disjardin's on ball defense here gives uh, Schneider some trouble. Now Siraki is going to try to break down Gallucci. Crosses over into the lane, got bumped, but before the shot, they're going to wave it off, and Gallucci gets called for the foul on the floor. And that's a quick two on Joe Gallucci. 6'1 junior. 10.40 left, first half, 14-2 Hawks. Into the corner now, Fisher holding. They want to get it into the big fella. Kyle Holby, all 6-5 of him. See if they can do some work. Here's Holby now in the right corner. He's got the big body. He's got some, some girth that can challenge Reed Hippus inside. And Will Siraki scores his fifth point. He's got all five for Velders, and it's 14-5 Hawks. Reed Hippus right wing three is short and Gallucci had the offensive rebound and it was taken away that time by Rommelwald. And here comes Velders, down nine. Saraki just got pickpocketed by Gallucci. Joe to the rim, he got pushed first. That's an excellent fall right there as it saves a layup. I believe they're gonna call it on Rommelwald and they do. His first. Excellent foul, that's team foul number four, so no free throws. That was a layup saver right there for sure as Ramchek will inbound the ball baseline right. 14-5 Xavier. Here's Brightman coming off a beautiful screen by Hippus for the uncontested layup. Good look by Ramchek that time and it's 16-5 Hawks. As they pick up with some full court pressure, now they're gonna trap the ball. Schneider left alone right of the circle, 15 foot jumper is good. Trey Schneider with some pretty good patience after Xavier left him alone, they had him trapped. And they gave him some space. 
and he made them pay. 16-7 Hawks, feed inside Brightman, one on one. Banging bodies with Schneider, turn with the right hand, missed the layup, got his own, he's getting raked across the arm and they got number five again, I believe. Gonna be Rommelwald again, are they gonna say on the floor or shooting? Rommelwald with his second, Pfefferly and Quimby back in, Gallucci discharging's out. They're gonna say on the floor as Matt Klarner calls out play number one from the bench. Pfefferly gonna trigger it, Brightman catch, fire, high archer, back rimmed it, long rebound, and it comes off to Lucas Spindler. Valder's trying to cut into a nine point lead, down by as many as 12. Now they're running a double screen here for Spindler, couldn't pull the trigger, so instead it goes in the left corner, and a heartbreak shot by Schneider, honeycombed in and out. And here comes Pfefferly and the Hawks. Sam into the lane, gonna get all the way to the rim, left it short on the left-handed layup. Here comes Rommelwald and the Vikings of Velders. Now Schneider almost traveled, spins into the lane. Now Fisher give it up top, Siraki. Sam Pfefferly in his hip pocket. Down to 8.37 and counting here, first half. And here's a ball that went off the foot of Quimby and it's turned over. Hippis scoops it back to Quimby, lay it up. Hayden with an and one. I was waiting for maybe a kick, but it wasn't as Quimby was just standing there on defense and that pass went off his foot. And Rommelwald just picked up a quick number three, team fall number six. And the Hawks getting out in transition and Velders with their unofficially sixth turnover early on in this game as Quimby knocks down the free throw. He has six as he completes the three-point play and the Hawks are up a dozen, matching their largest lead. Now Velders having some trouble. Spindler in a double team and a 10-second violin. Oh boy, Trevor Schwer is not liking it. I don't know, that's a quick 10. Trevor Schwer is asking that official, how can that possibly be 10 seconds? As there's 8.19 on the clock, I didn't notice how much time was left when they inbounded it. But that may have seemed a little quick on that 10 second call. Now Crawl gonna bounce it inside. Oh, hey, if he just turned with his right shoulder, missed it, but Ramchek on a weak side put back. And Logan scores his first two, and it's 21-7. Hawks. Here's a throw ahead, Schneider. They gotta go in a hurry here. They'll get another 10 second violation. Schneider, he's gotta get across the midcourt stripe, and he just does. Very close to another 10. Will Siraki wants to go on crawl, spinning, whirling Dervish, throw it up wildly, wide right, no, and Brightman with the rebound. Here come the Hawks. That was a tough shot in the lane. Brightman, he traveled before he shot that three, which he made. And that was a good call as he caught it and he took a big hop with both feet. He only thought he hopped with one, but that was a solid call. Cole Hippus gonna make an appearance. Tyler Brightman will go off. So Pfefferly, Crawl, Quimby, Olhafen, and Cole Hippus on the floor for the Hawks as they have tripled up Velders 21-7 here with seven and a half minutes left first half on Sports Faith YouTube. Siraki, spin, turn around, eight footer in the lane and he hit it over Luke Crawl. And Luke Siraki off to an excellent start. He's got seven coming off a 23 point game the other night in their blowout loss to Plymouth. 21-9 Xavier. Pfefferly snap it in the corner. Olhafen thought about a three, now Quimby has it. Cole Hippus with a little jab step. Pfefferly says, why not? I'm gonna arc a long three. No, Luke Olhafen crashes the offensive glass. I'm not sure how he got that rebound amongst two or three red shirts, but he got it and then he got fouled by Hovey. And the fouls are starting to add up as we have one and one. That is team foul number seven. Ramawald with three, Kyle Hovey with two, and Siraki with one. And Luke Olhafen back to the free throw line where he's hit his first two of the evening. 21-9, Xavier's 6.56 left first half. Olhafen up and good with the front end. Only a 32% free throw shooter a year ago. 
Did not play a ton of minutes as a sophomore. Played 15 the other night versus Kettle Marine. And the second one crawls in. Olhafen four for four from the free throw line. Played in 18 games a year ago with no starts. He got his first start the other night. And now in the backcourt is Trouble, and Trevor Schwer needs a timeout as they're having all kinds of problems with this Xavier full court pressure as we're going to step aside a quick timeout. 23-9 Xavier, 6.47 remaining in the first half. You're watching Hawks basketball on Sports Faith YouTube. You're faced with a tough health care decision. You've been given a diagnosis and treatment options, but you're still not comfortable with the plan. It may be time to get another opinion. I'm Dr. Jason Klein, orthopedic surgeon and physician owner at OSMS. No matter what you're questioning, a second opinion can give you peace of mind. OSMS is doctor owned and patient focused, and we're here to help you understand your options so you can stay in charge of your health. Learn more at askforosms.com. Back inside Torchy Clark Gym, 23-9. What a start for the Xavier Hawks playing well once again this evening. As Xavier really turning up the pressure. Now here's Holby, gives up his dribble. Now he's double teamed, he's in trouble. Getting close to a five second call, but he's able to relieve the pressure to Spindler. Lucas Spindler, give it up top, Siraki. Siraki with an early seven of their nine. Pull up elbow jumper, back rim. Hovey, the big fella, offensive put back, and he shot it too hard from point blank range, and here come the Hawks. Luke Crowell, feet up top, Olhafen straight on, arcing, deep three is good. Luke Olhafen with a long three point bucket, and the Xavier lead is 17. Siraki, long three, and that one's off the bracket, no good. Brayton with the rebound, long lead feed, Quimby. And Tyler Brightman just walked through, he shuffled him. Second travel of the evening for Tyler Brightman. Luke Olhafen did have a couple of threes the other night for his total of seven points in the game. Quimby's gonna exit the ball game. Isaiah Desjardins back on. 26-9. Xavier early on, Schneider trapped along the sidelines. Give it to Siraki, drive, float it, right hand too hard. Hovey, the big fellow with an offensive rebound, tears it away from Pfefferly, and he throws it up and in off the glass. Kyle Hovey, we've seen him do some work tonight on the offensive board. Nice looking stick back right there for the 6'5 senior. Olhafen says, why not, and he's feeling it. Luke Olhafen back-to-back triples. That's a good looking shot right there. He's got 10 for the Hawks. Schneider gonna try to match it. Too long on the three and Olhafen with a good block out but he's not able to secure the rebound. And the ball goes out of bounds. Two Velders, Austin Fisher gonna come back for the Velders Vikings. Fisher sends it into Spindler. Spindler, now Siraki. Will Siraki, good looking ball player, good offensive threat. Seven points in the game, now Luke Kroll bodying him up and he got called for five seconds. Closely guarded and Valders has been flirting with that a couple of times but that is turnover number eight I believe unofficially for Valders in this game. 29-11 Hawks, feed it inside, pump fake by Crawl, and he got hammered to the floor. Beautiful ball fake, little head and shoulder. And Luke Crawl gonna go to the free throw line as that one was called on Austin Fisher. Team foul number eight. And Luke Short on the first. He'll get another. Four forty-five left, first half. 29-11 Hawks crawl up and too long with that one. Tries to run down his own miss. Not able to gather it. So the Hawks leave a couple of points out there. Xavier by 18. Long three out of the corner, Stoudinger, and he missed it, and Olhafen feeds ahead Pfefferly. 
Look ahead, Brightman. Catch it and throw it in. What a beautiful look by Fairfully and Brightman with a great catch. And it's 31-11 as Siraki. Now the ball's up top. Spindler long on the three and Valders turning the ball over tonight and not shooting it very well. They were four for 22 the other night against Plymouth from three and now Sam Fairfully got called for traveling. He lost his balance. 31% from the field the other night for Velders. Logan Ramchek into the ball game. Luke Crow will take a seat as will Sam Pfefferly. Hayden Quimby back on for the Hawks. We're down to the four minute mark. And Xavier in control up 20. Xavier mixing it up defensively, trapping the ball. A little bit of full court pressure. And it's caused Velders quite the issues indeed. And now here's Fisher with a dangerous pass. Tipped by Brightman and almost stolen. And now here's a no-looker by Stoddard. And that gets deflected and stolen. Ends up in the hands of Quimby. Velders very careless with the basketball early on in this game. And now Quimby with a take to the rim. Back tapped by Olhafen. Brightman with a long three, barely grazed iron, but Quimby has it. He'll go up, left hand layup, good. Eight points for Quimby as the Hawks get a couple of extra chances. And now Valder's down 22. They rotate it, good looking passing game there. And Saraki not able to knock down the open three. In transition, Quimby gets the refeed from Discharge. And three on the way is splashed. Hayden Quimby with his 11th, and Valders needs a full timeout. With 2.58 remaining first half, it's all Xavier. 36-11 over Valders as you watch Hawks basketball on Sports Faith YouTube. Diamonds and Gold and Festival Foods present Let Me Be Frank's all-new Christmas comedy musical, Can a Krumpus Become an Elf? Elf on the Shelf thinks not. This one's for the whole family. It's a Frank's Christmas at the Meyer Theater, November 24th through December 30th. For tickets, go to MeyerTheater.org or call Ticketstar at 920-494-3401. Merry Christmas from Let Me Be Frank's. Back at Appleton, Craig Bone with you on Sports Faith YouTube, and it has been an explosion once again for the second game in a row. The Hawks 36-11. As they are playing very strong on both ends of the basketball court, especially on the defensive end, as they've turned Velders over eight times unofficially here in the first half, as Isaiah Disjardin's hounding Ramawald out between the circles. Will Siraki leading the way with seven early points. For Velders, 11 for Quimby, and here's a pickpocket steal. Ram check to the rim, floated layup good. Another takeaway by the Hawks, and it's 38-11, Xavier. Staudinger hung up right elbow. Now it's Rama while playing with three personal fouls. Siraki, jab step, going to try to take the freshman. Nice crossover there, but good help by Reed Hippis. He stepped away from Hovey and he helped out his teammate. Now Trey Schneider gonna try to set the offense between the rings. We're down to two minutes remaining. First half, here's a loose ball, battle for it. And Ramchek dove on the top of Schneider and he was out of bounds when he touched it, but what hustle by the freshman right there. As Matt Klarner liking what he saw right there from the freshman, Logan Ramchek. Velders gets it in, Siraki now. We're inside of a buck 50 remaining. And it has been all Xavier early on here, 38-11. Now Siraki looking at the official, doesn't want to get another five second call. 
Here's a lean-in jumper mid-post by Rommelwald, and he's going to earn a couple of free throws as they're going to get Isaiah Desjardins with the bump. Desjardins first. Team foul number four on the Hawks. It's Gunnar Romwald at the free throw line. First one up and is good. Talked about Valders losing a state championship game in 2018 on a 24 foot buzzer beater. They were also state runner ups back in 82, 83, 84 as I had the opportunity to play against those teams when I was at Denmark. And I'll tell you what, those are some of the best basketball teams in our area that never won a state championship because they could have had three and they never got one as Reed Hippus gets fouled inside. But, boy, they had some tremendous players. Jeff Schwerer, by the way, an uncle to Trevor. Trevor's his nephew. He was on those teams. And Bob and Dan Crystal, just to name a couple of others. And Dick Nelson, the longtime coach there, he is going to be having a ceremony as they are going to name that court Dick Nelson Court. I believe that's coming up. I'm not exactly sure when. But Dick Nelson will be honored for his efforts. Longtime coach Ed Velders. As Hippus knocks down a pair of free throws. Colt, or excuse me, Reed with seven now. And the lead is 27 for the Hawks. Now Siraki looked like a travel on Stoudinger. They didn't call it. Siraki gets the refeed. Goes around Gallucci and a good help out by Hippus. What a pickpocket by Reed Hippus. His second steal of the ball game. He has been doing an amazing job hedging and helping off his man tonight. And now a moving screen on Hippus. Reed Hippus was not set as he tried an on-ball screen for Sam Pfefferly. With a minute seven remaining in this first half, and it's been all Hawks. As Trey Schneider, a quiet two points for him, had nine the other night against Plymouth. Siraki had 23, and he's a tough leap and leaner right there against Gallucci. And the rebound, Pfefferly drives all the way down and banks it up and in on the solo coast to coast. And it's 42-13. Schneider gonna try a left corner pocket in the air ball that long. Siraki comes up with a loose change. He's double teamed. Battle for the ball. Siraki comes away, bumped and fouled and could not finish. But Will Siraki very active that time, getting that long rebound as Sam Fairfield picks up foul number one. 31.7 remaining here. First half as Siraki will go to the line for a pair. Siraki up and good with the first. Six for eight from the line the other night versus Plymouth in 24 minutes. Now oh, Siraki trying to make a pair and it rattles in and out, no good. So Siraki splits a pair, it's 42-14 Hawks. Reed Hipp has thought about the three. Here's Disjardins now. Give it to Hippus, rotate, Pfefferly. They're going to take their time. We're down to 18. Ram check, feed discharge with 15. Isaiah to the short corner, gets doubled, feeds Hippus out left wing, long three, no. Offensive rebound by the smallest man on the floor. Isaiah Disjardins lays it up and in, and the clock is down to two. One, Siraki's going to have to let go from 30 feet, and it's too hard on the rim. And uh, Xavier Hawks, another impressive first half as they go to the locker room with a very comfortable 30-point lead, 44-14 on our OSMS scoreboard. And we'll step aside and come back, and we'll take a look at first-half statistics and talk about our upcoming Sports Faith YouTube schedule, and we'll do all of that after this timeout. Your score from Torchy Clark Gym tonight, it's Xavier 44, Velders. 14 as you watch Hawks basketball on Sports Faith YouTube. Your healthcare should be about what's best for you. Yet too often, healthcare professionals focus on keeping patients within their system, including who they refer you to. I'm Dr. Will Elburo, orthopedic surgeon and physician owner at OSMS. You should be seen by who you want, and you can be. 
At OSMS, our focus is on providing you with the highest quality of care in a safe environment. The best part is, you usually don't need a referral for orthopedic care, putting full control in your hands. Learn more at askforosms.com. Located in Ashwaubenon, just south of Green Bay, our 60-lane bowling center is your home for family fun and entertainment in Northeast Wisconsin. With 60 lanes to choose from, we offer open bowling at day and cosmic by night. Our center also features a brand new interactive way to approach the game, Unreal Bowling. Get more involved with the community by joining one of our leagues. And for our younger bowlers, Join our youth bowling program where you can receive one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you're looking for a place to host your next special event, the Ashwaubenon Bowling Alley has two different banquet rooms that can accommodate large groups upwards of 250 people or comfortably seat 80 people. Come for the bowling, stay for the food. Our field house bar and grill is home to delicious drinks, pizza, sandwiches, and so much more. The Ashwaubenon Bowling Alley is the place to make lasting memories with family and friends. For more information, visit us at ashbowl.com or by calling us at 920-336-0400. I love this pizza. Let Gallagher's Pizza serve your crew for lunch or dinner. Check out our all-you-can-eat pizza buffets, Monday through Saturday lunch buffet, and Monday night dinner buffet. Dine in and enjoy our large variety of tap beers with your meal, including our very own beer brewed just for us. Or call us for delivery, and that's also the best way to feed your office for lunch. Get Wisconsin's best pizza at any of our four Gallagher Pizza locations. Alloway, West Green Bay, De Pere, and Suamico. When hunger strikes, you need to act fast, or you could die. So keep a healthy supply of Kingpin pizzas in your freezer, and you'll always be just 12 minutes away from deliciousness. Kingpin Pizza, it's good. And we're back at Georgie Clark Gym halftime. And you see the score right there, 44-14 Xavier as the Little Hawks out on the floor here on Youth Night, or Little Hawks Night, it is being called. And the Big Hawks with a big lead, 44-14 at the half before we get to some statistics. Shout out to our great sponsors once again tonight, North Star Dental Group, Appleton and Sheboygan, OSMS, Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Specialists of Green Bay and the Fox Cities, and by Let Me Be Frank Productions, go to MeyerTheater.org and get your tickets for this year's Christmas show that just kicked off the other night. And tonight's game also brought to you by Georgia Steakhouse since 1939. Owned and operated by the Quimby family since 1976. Dinner served Monday through Saturday at 4.30. Famous for their award-winning steaks, but they also serve a tempting array of other foods, seafood, chicken ribs, and other supper club favorites. And of course, their Friday fish fry. Call them today, 920-733-4939 for reservations. And by Cheryl Quimby Real Estate, Keller Williams Group of the Fox Cities. Looking to buy or sell your home? Look no further than Cheryl Quimby with Keller Williams of the Fox Cities. The market still has a record low inventory. It is a great time to sell. Call Cheryl today, 920-224-3061, where she is committed to excellence. And by Card and Coin Corner of Green...
I love this pizza. Let Gallagher's Pizza serve your crew for lunch or dinner. Check out our all-you-can-eat pizza buffets, Monday through Saturday lunch buffet, and Monday night dinner buffet. Dine in and enjoy our large variety of tap beers with your meal, including our very own beer brewed just for us. Or call us for delivery, and that's also the best way to feed your office for lunch. Get Wisconsin's best pizza at any of our four Gallagher Pizza locations. Alloway, West Green Bay, De Pere, and Suamico. as the big lead of 30 belongs to Xavier here in this first half. Let's take a look at leading scorers in the ball game. And it was a quiet first half for the Velders Vikings as they have unofficially 10 turnovers. So almost as many turnovers as points as the Velders Vikings only able to muster 14 points in this first half. And they were led by Will Saraki, their leading scorer this year, with eight. And two each from Trey Schneider, Gunnar Romwald, and Kyle Hovey for that total of only 14 points in this first half. They only were able to knock down one three-point basket in this first half. And the Velders Vikings were three of four from the free throw line as far as the Xavier Hawks are concerned. They were led in scoring by Hayden Quimby with a total of 11. And Luke Olhafen had himself a really nice first half, knocked down a couple of threes. He finishes with 10. Seven points from Reed Hippus with some really good defense, a couple of steals. Tyler Brightman with six points in that first half. Four from Logan Ramchek, the freshman. And two points each from Sam Pfefferly, Isaiah Dischardens, and Luke Kroll. And that is the Xavier total of 44. Seven of 10 from the free throw line for the Hawks. And they did knock down a total of five three-point baskets in that first half. And we talked about it in the pregame, how good they were the other night against Kettle Moraine Lutheran. They were absolutely scorching hot as they finished from the field 30 of 57 overall. And 17 of 30. They probably haven't shot it quite as well in this first half tonight, but they've done a lot of other things well as they knocked on 17 threes the other night and five tonight so far in the first half, but they have gotten out in transition. They've turned the Velders Vikings over at a high rate in this first half and not surprising when you play the type of man-to-man on-ball defense. And their help has been unbelievable as Velder's using a lot of ball screens tonight. But Xavier able to do a lot of hedging and just great team defense tonight by the Hawks as both teams out here now finishing up their final warm-ups before we get this second half underway. Just a reminder, we'll be on the air again Friday night. We'll be at Green Bay Preble and the last non-conference tune-up before the Hawks go on the road and take on the Seymour Thunder. Always a tough battle. Seymour gives the Hawks fits because they play some really solid defense, very physical ball club. And then it'll be Manasha after that on Friday night. And then they'll go to West to Pier on Tuesday, December 12th. A big matchup there, the two favorites in the Bay Conference this year. And then the Hawks will play Watoma and Green Bay West at home, December 15th and the 21st. And then we'll be making the trip down to the Concordia University Fieldhouse, the Rick Majerus Wisconsin Basketball Yearbook Shootout. Always look forward to that one as the Hawks will play Hartford and they will also take on Pius on back-to-back -back days, Thursday, December 28th and Friday the 29th as Velders will go on offense first, trying to climb out of a 30-point hole here at Torchy Clark. Here's Kyle Holby using a big body turn with the left shoulder and he missed another one from about four feet over Olhafen. 
We saw him with a bunny in the first half. He missed it. But if they can get the ball into Hovey, he can do some damage. Now Olhafen going to go right back at Hovey. And Hovey altered the shot. And Olhafen comes up a little bit long. And we're scoreless in the second half. First 30 seconds of this second half. Felder's down 30. Spindler, hook pass, left side. Schneider, you're going to take it to the rim on Quimby. And he throws it up and in. Trey Schneider with a nice take to the rim. And Velder scores the first deuce. Here's Olafen. Hovey all over him from behind. And now Pfefferly spinning. And he spun right into a double team. So now he gives it to Kroll. Luke Kroll, two points in the first half. Beautiful feed. Brightman misses it. And then a little frustration fall over the top of Saraki. And Tyler picks up his first. Brightman with a really good look that time, not able to convert. Had six points in the first half. Quimby led the way with 11. And here's Quimby picking up full court, man-to-man -man pressure on Schneider. Schneider behind the back, good move there. And now he's going to go right down the lane, pump fake, lean into Olhafen, and Luke's going to get called. If Luke would have stood with the arms up, but he came down with an arm and he hit Trey Schneider. Luke picks up his first team foul number two early on here in the second half. And Trey Schneider up and rimming off the first. He'll get another. Six foot senior Trey Schneider, one of the few returning kids with minutes as Schneider misses a pair. 44-16 Hawks. Quimby with a ball fake. Step back on a three. He puts Spindler in the popcorn machine and he bottoms out a three and he's got 14. A little shot fake by Quimby and Spindler went for it. And then Quimby with a step back triple. And it's a 31 point lead Hawks. Holby trying to carve out some space and he shot it right over Luke Olafen. And Holby has four and he used the big body to carve out room. The Xavier bench wanted traveling, didn't get it. Pfefferly with a little stroll down the left alley. And before the shot, they're going to get somebody with a hand check, and it's going to be Sarecki. Sarecki's second foul. Team foul number one on the Vikings. Luke Olhafen going to feed Pfefferly in the post, and they're going to get Sarecki with another as he tried to root Sam Pfefferly out of there with his knee, and he gets called for his third. Pfefferly throw it into Olhafen. Luke wants to feed Pfefferly. Going to go at Seraki again. Beautiful post up turn with the left shoulder. And Pfefferly flips it up and in. And boy, that's a matchup they can go to as Pfefferly's got a little bit of size over the six foot Seraki. Kyle Holby is going to try a deep ball back, rimmed it off the heel, and Brightman with the rebound. Headman's at the Pfefferly. 49 18 Hawks down the alley. Oh, and a no look, and Olhafen wasn't ready. Beautiful pass, maybe a little hot. But nonetheless, Luke had it go right through his hands for the turnover. Great no look by Pfefferly as he drew the defense in. And Luke Olhafen would have had himself a bunny. And we got a timeout as that was getting very close to a five-second call as Trevor Schwer is going to use a timeout from the bench. And with 15.36 remaining in the ballgame, it's 49 18, Xavier in control. I want to thank our great sponsors, NAI Pfefferly, along with Pfefferly Management. of course all season long right here on Sports Faith YouTube now Velder is facing some more pressure this is token man to man Trey Schneider is going to bring it up around Quimby still has it jump stop in the lane throw it up left it short no Olhafen had it for a moment and it went off the foot of a Velder's Viking player and we're going the other way 
49-18, Xavier in control. It was 44-14 at the half. Crawl gonna feed Quimby. Quimby one step into the lane, left-hander left it wide left. And here comes Schneider on the run. Trey Schneider, a teardrop floater with a right hand is up and good. Trey Schneider with six points. Got a couple of buckets here since the break. Olhafen from downtown, and he netted another one. One thing you better do is step out on 24 because he is knocking down the deep ball tonight. He's got 13. What a good looking high arcing shot that was. And it's 52-20 Hawks. What an added dimension when you got a 6'3 junior that can step out there and knock that down. Schneider in trouble, give it to Spindler. He fades on a three and wide right, just caught the bottom of the glass. Here comes Sam with his head up. Lead feed up to Brightman, catch in traffic, throw it up. Might have been distracted a little by Spindler and Hovey. And here comes Spindler off the miss. Fisher thought about a deep three, now he's gonna cross over on Olhafen. And we're gonna get a bump or a reach. It's either a bump on Olhafen or a reach on Brightman, and it's going to be on Brightman. Brightman second. Team foul number three on Xavier as Keith Betting, the senior, 5'11", will check in for the Vikings in place of Austin Fisher. 52-20 Hawks. Here's Siraki with a tough catch out top. Wants to go on crawl, now he's going to retreat. Comes off a of Hovey screen, still has it. Now Spindler on an overplay from Pfefferly. That was almost a steal in the passing lane. Trey Schneider, now it ends up to Spindler. Three on the way and back rim again off the heel and Brightman soars for the rebound. All six, five of the senior launched off the floor that time. And now Sam has it. Scoop pass Brightman, feed old Hafen, gonna back down on Hovey. He's doubled, so flip it up top, Pfefferly. Sam, dump it to Brightman. Brightman surrounded by a lot of red shirts. Puts down his right shoulder, and he carved out some room against Schneider, and he put it up and in. Eight for Brightman as he put the right shoulder into Schneider's belly, and he just created a little bit of space, and now Quimby is going to get whistled for a perimeter fall here on Trey Schneider and wholesale substitutions coming in. It's a five for five. Disjardins, Cole Hippus, Logan Ramchek, Joe Gallucci, and Reed Hippus are all checking in. 13-29 remaining. In this second half. Here's Hovey down in the post. Flip it up with a right hand. And Kyle Hovey has six. Good looking move there. Now Gallucci with a left baseline drive and he goes up and gets fouled. Joe Gallucci to the free throw line. Keith Vetting gets whistled for his first. And Joe Gallucci to the free throw line. Five of 11 from the stripe last year and the left hander's up and good. And that one was a little flatter out of Joe and it hit the back bracket. Hovey had to rebound and out of a double team, he got reached in on. And the two Hippus boys had a nice little trap there, but Cole's gonna get called for the reach in. So it's Hippus, Hippus. Almost sounds like a law firm maybe. And then you throw Gallucci in there. Hippus, Hippus and Gallucci, there you go. Future law office right there. Disjardin's on the floor as well. And as is Logan Ramchek, and the freshman just got called for a little grab of the wrist. And Matt Klarner says, just put your hands up, don't reach. Ramchek's first, and all of a sudden we got six fouls on the board for Xavier. Put the Hawks up 32, or 33, excuse me. 55-22, Spindler, spinning in the lane. Gets closed off, has to retrieve out to Schneider. And the three out of the corner by Vetting's no good. Holby had it for a moment. And the ball knocked away by Cole Hippus, and here come the Hawks. Joe Gallucci will feed Reed Hippus. Now Ramchek directing traffic. Disjardins. 
Gets a refeed from Cole Hippus. Now Ramchek had a dozen the other night. Has yet to shoot the ball this evening. 55-22 Hawks, 12 and a half minutes left in the ball game as Hippus Reed goes up and gets it blocked out of bounds. Mason Stoudinger will come back for the Vikings and Will Siraki will take a break. Siraki, eight points in the first half, has yet to score since the break. Ramchek, feed it, Disjardins, three high archer is no, and Reed Hippus with a beautiful offensive block out and he lays it up and in for his ninth point. He got inside of Kyle Holby and able to get the offensive stick back. And it's 57-22 Hawks. Schneider, a leaping leaner, left it short on the glass. Good defense by Reed Hippus. Here comes Disjardins, feeds Ramchek. Why not? Three on the way, and it rimmed in, in and out for Ramchek, the freshman. Here's Staudinger, almost traveled, throw it underneath. And it was Vetting getting it outside to Spindler, and that one was halfway down. And they're going to say last touch by a Viking, Mason Staudinger. 11.43 remaining in the ball game. And Xavier with a 35-point lead. Reed Hippus snap it up top. Discharge's going to go right down the alley, flip it up. Oh, right hand, look like contact. No call. They're going to play on, but then after the shot, they're going to get a Reed Hippus after the shot on a reach in. And it's bonus time. Team foul number seven, the second on Reed Hippus. 57 22 Hawks with 11.30 remaining in the ball game. Please subscribe if you haven't. Sports Faith YouTube. You'll get that notification when we go live. And Staudinger, high arcing free throw is up and good. His first points of the evening. 57-23 Hawks. And Staudinger, good on a pair. Good looking free throws right there for Staudinger. And Reed Hippus gonna direct a little traffic here. Staudinger, a freshman, six foot two. Reed Hippus gets into the act on a long three, and he's got 12. And Reed Hippus, he'll give you a lot of defense, but his offense greatly improved. And here's a poke away steal by Gallucci. Ends up to Reed, four on two. Tried to feed Cole Hippus, his brother. He lost it, but he's able to save it to discharge. Misses his first, and sticks back his offensive rebound good. Reed Hippus with a beautiful pocket pass in transition. Cole Hippus with a good hustle to save it. Schneider now long high arcing three, short right. And Gallucci comes on with a rebound. Lead feed Disjardins. Isaiah feeds underneath. Cole Hippus, left-handed layup, he missed it. And Trey Schneider had it, but he didn't establish himself in bounds. So it's gonna stay Xavier Ball as Reed Flick. The sophomore are gonna check in along with Jonah Gentry, the junior. Kyle Holby will take a seat as will Lucas Spindler for Valders. Gunnar Ramawald back into the ball game as is Will Siraki for Valders. Here's Flick with a baseline drive and he got arm barred out there on the perimeter by Stoudinger. Stoudinger's first. Good little penetration move that time by Gallucci. He's a left-handed player and he took the left baseline. That's only team number four on Valders. So Ramchek is going to throw it in up top, Cole Hippus. Now Ramchek going to feed Gallucci in the post, and he's knocked away and stripped by Vetting in a turnover on the Hawks. Vetting with a nice poke away. 62-24 Hawks. Cross court, pass, and the three is no good by Staudinger. Battle for the rebound. Gentry was on the floor. And actually it was Reed Flick digging it out of there. Cole Hippas guarded closely by Schneider. Now Gentry has it. 
Here's Gallucci coming off a screen by Cole Hippis. Now he'll flip it up top. Flick thought about a three instead. They'll reset the offense. Cole Hippis, it's just a motion offense. Ramp check, steps into another three, and that's a good looking freshman. He's got seven, and boy, these guys can shoot it from the perimeter. Oh, Hiff, and we've seen him earlier tonight. He's got three triples. Now Ramchek's got his first. Trey Schneider on a lean in, and they're going to get Logan Ramchek with the body. That is Ramchek's second. One and one the rest of the way for Valders with 9.19 remaining. Trey Schneider missed his last two, and now he's 0 for 3. As that was a shooting foul. Michael Kippenhan back, or makes an appearance, I should say. Joe Gallucci to the bench. So I'm looking down the bench here, and it looks like Matt Klarner has almost cleared everybody as Trey Schneider struggling mightily. He's 0 for 4 from 3. As it looks like everybody but Matthew Potter, and I think he is a little bit banged up, the sophomore, but other than Potter, everybody has played this evening for the Hawks. Cole Hippus now, dangerous cross court to Ramchek. Kippenhen, 5'10 senior, tries to feed Jonah Gentry, and the ball knocked away. And it is picked up and stolen. Here comes Schneider, going to work his way inside, and it's sent back and blocked by Ramchek. Here's Cole Hippis rumbling down the lane, throw it up in traffic, no offensive stick back, Ramchek is good. Logan Ramchek with some great hustle as he followed up on a missed layup, and it's 67-24. As we've hit the 40-point lead mark, and that's going to be traveling on Trey Schneider, so we will have a continuous running clock with the 43-point lead. And Eli Mares, that was one player that I forgot about. The junior, he comes on. So now every available player, I believe, has seen the floor here for the Hawks. Keith Vetting goes out for Velders. Kyle Hovey's back in. Gunnar Romwald in there as well. Here's a three out of the corner by Cole Hippis, and it was short right. Here comes Stoddinger and the Vikings with 7.45 remaining, and Jonah Gentry with a steal. Got a two-on-one bust out. Cole Hippis to the rim, left-handed layup good. What a steal, Jonah Gentry. The 5'10 junior leads the fast break. 69-24, Siraki straight on 16-footer. He gets the shooter's roll. His first deuce of the second half, he's got 10. Hawks by 43. Cole Hippis gonna line up a left wing three and he hits nothing but nylon. Xavier playing pretty freely right now with a huge lead, 72-26. Siraki trying to break down Mares, tries to dump it to Holby, the ball gets deflected right back to Siraki, and he missed the banker from eight. And here come the Hawks on the run, Ramchek, Ramchek, excuse me. Hip is gonna try another. Left of the circle, three is good, his second. And Cole Hippis, my goodness. He's got a quick eight here in the second half, and it's 75-26, Xavier. Starting to get into that three-point mode again. Here's Kyle Holby in traffic, flip it up on the left hand, missed it. And that's the story of the night for Vell. There's Ramchek, four on three, take it, scoop it left hand, no. And the rebound to Siraki. A little bit out of control that time on the move to the rim. Just over six minutes remaining as Siraki misses long on the three. And Fisher is pickpocketed out of there by Ramchek. Logan Ramchek, a little sloppy right now as he threw it right to Will Siraki. Turnover Xavier. It's turning into a noon YMCA basketball game now with a 75-26 bulge here for Xavier. It's getting a little bit sloppy. And Jonah Gentry got called for his first. Team foul number nine as Siraki will go to the line for a bonus. Reed Flick and Isaiah Disjardins will come in. Next dead ball as they will right here after this free throw I should say. 
And for Velder, there's more substitutions. Number 30, Jacob Brennan, the junior, has checked in, as has Zane Burgundy. Keith Vetting on the floor currently as well as Siraki misses the second. Fisher with an offensive rebound put back, no good. And now Siraki gonna try to drill a three and he does. Will Siraki with 14 points in the ball game. Jacob Brennan on the floor for Velders. Sloppy pass by Mares. Gentry had it but he fell to the floor, turned it over. And here come the Vikings. 4.35 remaining in the ball game. Now Fisher has it guarded by Gentry. Now he's doubled in the short corner. He's in trouble, tries to throw it off at Gentry, and he did. And then Gentry tried to take it, but he dribbled it on the end line. So it will be Velder's basketball here with 4.16 remaining. And all Velders, they led, or excuse me, all Xavier tonight as they've led Velders by as many as 45. I believe this is the largest lead right now, 75-30. They led by 30 at the half, and here's an inside move by Brennan, and that ball was partially blocked inside. And now the Hawks straight on three, Desjardins, and that rattles in and out. Battle for the ball, down on the floor is Vetting. And they're going to get Gentry, I believe, for a foul as he climbed on top of Vetting. And it'll be a one and one on the other end as Gentry did get called for a second. So the Hawks at Green Bay Preble Friday night. We'll have it for you. 645 approximate North Star Dental Group pregame show. As this is a double bonus now for Keith Vetting, and he's long on the first. More substitutions. Parker Valeski. And number 20, Jacob Olson into the ballgame. A couple of sophomores. I want to thank, I believe, the mother of Parker Valeski, I'm assuming. Saw her subscribe to Sports Faith YouTube, and I don't have the first name in front of me, so I apologize for that. But Valeski was the last name, so I'm glad they're tuning in as they see Parker on the floor and actually just got himself a rebound to get into the stat sheet right there for Parker Valeski. Now vetting with it. Give it to Valeski, we're down to 220 remaining. He gets the ball knocked away from behind by Gentry, and here comes Jonah on a three-on-three. Three. Kick at the Reed Flick, three on the way, and a flick of the wrist, and it's three more for Xavier. Reed Flick, the six-foot sophomore with a good-looking stroke. 78-31 Hawks as we tick inside of two minutes remaining. Jacob Olsen stepped out of bounds. And I think the Vikings got to be approaching 20 turnovers in the basketball game. It's been a mighty struggle for them. And they've had struggles with offense as well, shooting the basketball tonight as we're down to a minute 30. Kippenhahn wants to get in the act, and he banks in a three. Michael Kippenhahn, when it's all going, it's all going. Eighth three-pointer of the night for the Hawks in the second half. They're up to 13 in the game to match, or getting close to matching their 17 from a few nights ago. And here's Brennan inside. Mares was trying to tie him up. And Mares got called for that foul. And the clock is running with a 50-point Xavier lead, 81-31, as Brennan up and short on the free throw. Samuel Rogowski into the ball game, a senior, six foot three for Valders. Second free throw by Brennan is no good. And 
here come the Hawks. See if they hold the ball here. We're down to 20 seconds remaining with a 50 point lead. Flick says, no, I want more action. And he's wide left, missed it. And Gentry got it out the mares and he goes wide right. And now Desjardins tries to go up in a double team. And I think that's gonna do it as we have a continuous running clock, as I mentioned. And Xavier can hold it, and they don't have to trigger the inbounds, and that'll do it. As the Xavier Hawks move to 2-0 and as they take care of Elders tonight in resounding fashion. 81-31 is your final score on the OSMS scoreboard. As we're going to take a timeout, and we'll come back with totals and summaries and talk about our upcoming schedule. And we're looking to have a post-game interview as well. And we'll do all of that after this timeout. Final score, Xavier 81, Velders 31, as you're watching Hawks basketball on Sports Faith YouTube. The road to state is a big deal. It takes teamwork and excellence on and off the court. Let Dr. Pete and the team at North Star Dental get and preserve your smile in a state of excellence without stress. Hi, I'm Dr. Pete Haley from North Star Dental Group in Appleton and Sheboygan, and it's a big deal to have a healthy smile, and protect it too. That's why we offer a complimentary evaluation of your athlete's dental needs, and even mouth guards that match your school colors. North Star Dental, changing your life and protecting your smile. Diamonds and Gold and Festival Foods present Let Me Be Frank's all new Christmas comedy musical, Can a Krumpus Become an Elf? Elf on the Shelf, thinks not. This one's for the whole family. It's a Frank's Christmas at the Meyer Theater, November 24th through December 30th. For tickets, go to MeyerTheater.org or call Ticketstar at 920-494-3401. Merry Christmas from Let Me Be Frank's. You're faced with a tough healthcare decision. You've been given a diagnosis and treatment options, but you're still not comfortable with the plan. It may be time to get another opinion. I'm Dr. Jason Klein, orthopedic surgeon and physician owner at OSMS. No matter what you're questioning, a second opinion can give you peace of mind. OSMS is doctor owned and patient focused, and we're here to help you understand your options so you can stay in charge of your health. Learn more at askforosms.com. I love this pizza. Let Gallagher's Pizza serve your crew for lunch or dinner. Check out our all-you-can-eat pizza buffets, Monday through Saturday lunch buffet, and Monday night dinner buffet. Dine in and enjoy our large variety of tap beers with your meal, including our very own beer brewed just for us. Or call us for delivery, and that's also the best way to feed your office for lunch. Get Wisconsin's best pizza at any of our four Gallagher Pizza locations. Alloway, West Green Bay, De Pere, and Suamico. hunger strikes, you need to act fast or you could die. So keep a healthy supply of Kingpin pizzas in your freezer and you'll always be just 12 minutes away from deliciousness. Kingpin pizza, it's good. And we have gone final from Torchy Clark tonight as the Xavier Hawks run their record to 2-0 on this early preseason portion of their schedule. And they got it done easily tonight. 81-31 is your final score. And it was a dominating performance, very similar to what we saw against Kettle Moraine Lutheran just a few nights ago, a very Easy victory there, and the hot shooting continued for the Hawks tonight, and for Velders, it was an absolute struggle. Only three players on their roster tonight scored a field goal, and we'll take a look at some scoring right now as Will Seraki led the way for the second game in the row for the Vikings. 14 points, 
to lead Velders. Six points each out of Kyle Hovey and Trey Schneider this evening. And only two other players scored. It was Gunnar Rommald with two and Mason Staudinger with two points as well. So only 31 in the ballgame for the Vikings. Two three-point buckets this evening and only six of 13 from the charity stripe for their total of 31 points. And for the Xavier Hawks, it was one of those nights. Everybody got involved. Some more balanced scoring as Hayden Quimby for the second game in a row. And we're going to be talking with Hayden here in a little bit. He led the way. He had 16 the other night. He comes back with a 14-point performance tonight. 11 of those were in the first half. And Luke Olhaef in a very solid game for the junior tonight. He scored 10 of his 13 in that first half. 12 from Reed Hippus. Outstanding game for Reed defensively. Multiple steals tonight. He finishes with 12. Nine points out of Logan Ramchek late in this game as he played a good number of minutes in that second half. Tyler Brightman, pretty quiet eight points for him tonight, but there were other guys to pick it up. Eight from Cole Hippus off the bench this evening. He looks like he's going to be an important player off the bench this year for the Hawks. Four points each from Sam Pfefferly and Isaiah Desjardins. Three each. Reed Flick, late three-pointer off the bench. And Michael Kippenhahn had a banked-in three-pointer late in this ballgame as well. Two points for Luke Kroll. And one free throw for Joe Gallucci for the total of 81 for the Hawks. Next up, the Hawks travel to Green Bay Preble. And they will take on the Hornets as they take on a much bigger school and a good test for the Xavier Hawks, <clears throat> um, excuse me, in this preseason portion of their schedule before they get into that meat of that Bay Conference schedule. We talked about it earlier at Seymour, at Menasha and at West Pier, And it's going to be all on the road before they come back home against Watoma and Green Bay West. And then we hit the holiday break. But the Hawks will head down to the Rick Majerus Wisconsin Basketball Yearbook Shootout. And we'll be carrying those ball games for you right here on Sports Faith YouTube as the Hawks have come out of their locker room here and we'll see if Hayden Quimby will pay us a visit. We had him on the other night. But audio difficulties prevented us from really unfortunately hearing what Hayden had to say. Matt Klarner adding to his impressive win total in his career. 255 wins now. And you take a look at their home record. Absolutely unbelievable under his tutelage. 137 wins, only 18 losses. Very dominant on the home floor. And then you take a look at their records by the month. Very effective as well as they just don't lose a lot of basketball games. The Hawks don't, that's for sure. Whether it be home or away, as they're 34 and 11, by the way, against Division I teams. And they're gonna get a Division I team on Friday night as Hayden Quimby is gonna make his way up to our broadcast location. We're gonna try it again. <laughs> And Hayden Quimby joins us here post-game. And let's do that. And there we are. And the other night, some technical issues. We couldn't really hear you that well. And it wasn't your fault. It was, well, it was operator error. My fault. We call it that. But hey, congratulations. Another nice victory. Kind of really where you guys, you know, left off against Kettle Marine Lutheran. I mean, you guys played mighty well. You might not have shot it as well early on. But boy, you guys really got some good looks in the second half. 
you come up with a 14 point game and your teammates obviously helped you out. You turned Velders over at a high rate tonight, got into transition, but uh, just talk about uh, the dominance again of the great shooting on your ball club. Like I said last time, but last time I was a little more mic'd up, so <laughs> I guess I'll just say that, man, we come in practice every day, ready to work hard. You know, we got that little break uh, next game, but um, came back inside the room, we got that time. We didn't leave our charge at all, so we were, yeah, we're always ready. So come back out here and the game says no, but we're always going to practice. I asked you the other night, we talked about the young talent on this team and, and what your thoughts were on that. I'm really impressed with a number of kids and it starts probably with the freshman, uh, Logan Ramchek. He's been very solid. He came into this game and got some bench minutes, uh, maybe halfway through the game. Didn't play a lot in the first half, but ends up with nine points. But talk about some of these guys off the bench. Ramchek, I mean, once we get into the heart of the Bay Conference schedule, obviously his minutes may not be as great. Uh, but guys just stepping up early this year. Uh, Reed Hippus, unbelievable defense out of him. And I think Luke Olhaven, I wasn't so sure about his shooting. I think he's put that to rest. This guy can shoot it from deep. You all can. But, but talk about Luke Olhaven and maybe uh, just some of the young talent. Yeah. So first off, I guess we call Luke Olhaven John. So uh, <laughs> just because the Luke Paul stuff. So uh, yeah, John can shoot it. It's, just, it's nice to have that stress the floor. I guess all of our folks can shoot it, as you can see. Like, it's nice that John out there, he's a confident shooter, he's a confident player, and he's always a confident player. I'm going to ask you about defense and how you guys work on it, because one thing I saw tonight, and you can obviously talk about this, but Bell, there's a lot of on-the-ball screening tonight. They were doing high ball screens all over the floor. How much did you work on the hedging part of, of your defense? Because Reed Hip is just to name one guy. There was always help there, even even though you got beat off the dribble maybe, but talk about some of the drills that you may work on defensively in practice that, that help you do that kind of defense. Yeah, so this day it's all the way back to the first time. It's going to be in here at the first year. Um, you know, Jim is always the first time there. And, uh, <laughs> just let it go hard. And so we practice different types of uh, defenses on the screen, pretty much everything. So you know, we kind of just pick and choose what we want to do. Yeah, Siraki was coming off that 23 point game the other night. He finished with 14, but yeah, no doubt he's one of their strong players. And, and you guys held Trey Schneider in check. Only six points, so you hold somebody to 31. Uh, you're going to pretty much win uh, every single time off. But before we let you go, got to ask you about same thing I asked you about the other night. But now we're going to hear it. UW Superior got it out of the way, committed. Congratulations, you play at the next level. Talk about that. Just, uh, just, just excited. It was a lot of hard work, but last years, but it's nice to get it out of the way and just find a good decision of where I wanted to be at and where I fit best for program and school wise. So it was just nice to get it done. It's not going to be nice to get this team. Our goals is like I said last time, we're going to be at and we're going to be only one game away last year. Maybe we finished the deal and then actually get there, but you guys keep playing like this. It's going to be very difficult to beat, but the competition is going to get greater. You know, you got Seymour coming up in Nasha, West up here, and all of those are on the road. So we're going to find out real soon maybe what this big knock is going to be. All right. Well, that's it. We're done. Thank you so much, Hayden Quimby. Thanks for joining us. You bet. All right. That's Hayden Quimby, the senior sharpshooter, joining us here on our post-game show. Much better than the other night. And I think everybody heard him loud and clear this evening, but Hayden finishing with 14 points in a great effort tonight. And one last shout out before we close up shop to our great sponsor list once again, North.
I love this pizza. Let Gallagher's Pizza serve your crew for lunch or dinner. Check out our all-you-can-eat possible as we're about done here and we'll see you again on Friday night. It'll be a 6.45 North Star Dental Group pregame show as the Xavier Hawks cruise this evening. 81-31 was the final on the OSMS scoreboard. And that'll do it. We'll talk to you Friday night from Green Bay Preble. Good evening, everybody.